I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Hello my beautiful nerds and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. We're cruising through these, I think, I hope. Anyways, uh, I've been recording for like eight days. I have no idea what's happening anymore. I don't even know who I am. But a huge shout out to those of you in the premieres and a bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash Missile Dine Online. That's me. That's... <laughs> I couldn't I think I've been recording too much. Anyways, uh, we had a great last episode. We recruited Thane onto our onto our team, and that means that we have one more person here on Ilium that we can recruit, which is exactly what we're going to do. We are a level 17 Vanguard with five squad points that we're just sitting there uh, that we're not putting into anything yet, and we have a just a car to go save we also have some loyalty missions and stuff like that that we can go do but i also want to point out that while we were on the mission to recruit thane we ended up getting this data so we need to find a solarian on Elium that's looking for the corosa family data and deliver it to them so that's what we're going to do we're going to go over to uh to Elium. we're already here we've checked all of our stuff we've researched as much as, as much as we can uh obviously i'm not putting any points into anything yet because i am saving so that when we do get our bonus power we can just max it out why was i thinking we were I thought we were already docked okay now we're docked we're going to this place but i brought the drell thane with us the brand new guy that we just got just so that we can go ahead and uh put his 20 squad points into some things and there are some things to put it in so we're going to max out his drell assassin which is going to evolve into we have two choices here we can go with drell marksman or drell veteran I don't see why in any of these situations why you would give somebody more health uh, and less weapon damage. I just don't see why, especially on Insanity. You want to make the, what they're already strong in stronger, not shore up their weaknesses, you know? So we're going to go with Draw Marksman, which is going to increase his weapon damage a whopping 50%, which is huge. We're going to put another point into Throw here so that we can put more points into Warp. So that's going to leave us two left over, but we need to put that second one into warp into throw so that we can get warp. Warp obviously being incredibly, incredibly useful, especially on this uh, place, this mission that we're about to do. Uh, as for Grunt, he can't put anything. He's just going to look there all menacing with his beautiful blue eyes and not able to do anything. It doesn't matter what you choose here at all, because when we actually do the recruitment mission, uh, we'll be able to choose our loadout. So first things first, now that we're back on Helium is we need to find the unique dialogue that we have for both Fane and uh, Grunt, since we're here. And they will. They'll have stuff to say, just like we already saw from Tally and everybody else. I wish there was a way. I should have done, like, a video where it's just... where it's literally just dialogue. But no, that'd be bad. Let's go ahead and let's listen to Fane uh, and what he has to say here. I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. Dude, so is your posture. Are you kidding me? His posture is incredibly good. Like, how dare he have such good imposter? And good imposter? Good, good posture. That's what I was trying to say. And speed. So we're going to head over to the bar eternity which i believe is where we will find the unique dialogue for mr grunt if i'm not mistaken which i don't see it so maybe not oh there it is right at the bar i can taste hate in the air but there's no fighting it's like like they don't want to is that right because it seems stupid rules and words to hide how they hide fighting is simple kill the guy aiming at you here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. <laughs> Grunt is so cool. All right, now we can go find the Solarian, turn in this quest. And actually, we'll get ex not only will we get experience, but it's worth doing. 
So coming through under where uh, where Liara is, we come through that passage, and there will Listen, be the Solarian here. The data is vital to the Corosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back well, in, they're dead. I'll get it. I promise. If not, I have it. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. Okay, don't be rude. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. I did. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Well, why did you not have backups? If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus, and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Yeah, no, I feel you. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. Well, you know, Slarians have a very short life expectancy, so generationally, that's not that big of a deal. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. You're welcome. So we'll get 40 experience, 7 Paragon for that, and 1,500 credits, which, thank again, you again. You the more credits no we get, the better. I do family. wish that uh, maybe we got those credits. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's totally not a big deal. So if we come over here to where Serena was, Serena's gone. However, her assistant, Tana, is Excuse still me. here. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. Mm. That's it? She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Weird. Oddly enough, the game gives us a choice here to delete the recording and not listen to it, or listen to it, which this is a completionist thing. I have no idea why we would just delete it. It makes no sense to hey, me. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. Yep. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. All right. Hey, Thane, did you... You heard... Thane, did you... You heard that? All right, cool. Anyways, so now we have another person to go see. We heard from Liara that uh samara was there apparently there was an officer who was who was talking about samara if we look at our missions if we look at dossier justicar uh we can travel to helium we can talk to tracking officer dara in the transportation hub uh thank you to liara for letting us know where we might be able to find samara of course we already knew that so so i'll head over here and we actually saw her earlier she was over here when we were doing the mission for zeus hope and shiala so we'll go yeah, ahead and we'll have a conversation with Dara. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Whoa, hey. Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara is the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. All right. Well, what? What? Tell us about Justicars. What do you mean they embody highest laws? Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain and they die before breaking their oaths. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. 
but their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. So, what I'm hearing is she's a monster. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Well, what even is her authority? Anyways, where'd she go? I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Yeah, or I can do that right now. So we have some decisions to make here when it comes to picking our roster. Now for squad selection, we did just get Thane and it would be awesome to bring him because he has warp and warp is going to be incredibly useful during this mission because we're going to be facing a ton of barrier. However, uh, Thane has a line of dialogue that will take precedent over most people that doesn't really make sense because he just joined us and I don't want him to say that. He has a very cool reference and I will bring it up when it happens and I will show you somebody else's video of using a save editor to have it happen because he has the lowest priority of speaking on this mission except for the person we're recruiting who you can't get because we're recruiting them. The point is he won't ever say it so taking him to hear that line isn't going to work. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring Tally and Garrus. And the reason for that is because Garrus has some good lines. Tally uh, kind of has some good lines. And I really want the two of them to bond a little bit more. These are our friends. These are the guys we trust the most. And we're going after a Justicar. Somebody who not only doesn't really like aliens, which we're bringing to aliens. But the point is, we don't have any Asari. So doesn't really like aliens and definitely might think what Morden's done with the genophage is bad. Miranda working for Cerberus is definitely bad. She's not going to like that. Grunt might do something to piss her off. Definitely not bringing Jack. Kasumi's a thief. Jacob is... Jacob. Really, the only two people that we can bring and be okay is Tally and Garrus. So that's who we're bringing on our squad. That's who's going to kick the booty. We have five points that we have for Tally, so we can go ahead and put that into her combat drone now, which uh, we are going to go ahead and give her. Attack drone is fine. Uh, so it's electric shock damages, target health, armor, and biotic barriers. But I actually like explosive drone a lot more. It, when it's destroyed, it will pulse energy that inflicts high damage on all nearby enemies. So that's what we're gonna choose. We're gonna go with the explosive drone. We kind of skip AI hacking entirely. And we'll wait until she does her loyalty mission and energy drain is available to her because it's actually quite good. Uh, as for our boy Garrus, we have to wait a little bit until we can get Turian Rebel, which we're going to then turn into Turian Renegade. So let's recruit a Justicar. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. This uh, Volus definitely noticed that we arrived. Apparently, something happened. Somebody was murdered. Pitney Four's business partner was murdered. There's just a car here, potentially trying to find out who murdered Pitney, uh, Pitney Four's friend. That, 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 that sounds dangerous. So we'll see that there's police here. We can talk to the space port, space port official. I wanted official. to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Huh. I wonder if little Liara wanted to be a Justicar when she was younger. That'd be cute. Turian Cops worker. don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Interesting. Remember, Eclipse is ran by Asari, so that's why they say the, the Eclipse sisters and all that. They're the ones that run this place. So let's talk to Pitney Four. 
and see what's going on with what him. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Hmm. Why is everyone nervous? Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. So if a detective sealed the area, tell me about what happened. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Just like me. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. <laughs> but they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. What a I name, go. Volus. You know, I wonder if they're ever gonna get a place on the council. If you remember Mass Effect 1, that's uh, what the, uh, the uh, ambassador of the Volus wanted. Anyways, as soon as we come in here, we can grab this med station for a hundred credits, because no point in doing that. There's also a weapons loadout here, which I don't really know why we can have access to that, but there's one here in case you change your mind after you just came here. But we want to talk to Detective Anaya and see what she has to nice say. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. Yeah, right. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Now, we can point out that you don't have to follow that order. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. <laughs> That's why you bring Garrus and Tally, baby. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. So, if you bring Thane, he'll actually mention how every time Shepard asked me to do a suicidal mission, I have to remind myself I volunteered. It's like, dude, you just joined us. That has never been asked. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. You know, something that I love about the juxtaposition and the dichotomy 
to use two big words uh of the mission that we just did with than where he's an assassin and it's kind of frowned upon to be an assassin and then you have a justicar who's virtually an assassin just doesn't get paid to do it does whatever the hell she wants as long as it's in her code i think it's really interesting that they're basically the same thing but one of them is super frowned upon and one of them is like this elevated thing which is arguably worse like a justicar is arguably worse she sees a crime being committed and has to end their entire life very interesting that that's even a part of Asari culture, to be honest with you. I don't know. Weird. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Let's uh, learn a little bit more about Justicars before we come face to face with one. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars. We also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt bolas. That is a good point. Why is she here? You mentioned a crime scene? A bolas merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. Must be tough. I have to go. And we do, because my friends, we are going to recruit... We gotta find Samara before the detective goes after her. Well... Honestly, our last recruitment mission possible. This is our last recruitment mission. The last character just kind of gets recruited. No spoilers, of course. Don't chat. Looking at you. Don't say anything. So we can uh, not use this elevator. Just unable to be used. But there is this crime scene here. This tape looks. I can't cross. It says don't through. cross. Watch yourself. There's merc activity back here. It We're waiting on backup. I can't go. Boop. Okay, I don't cross. Right over here, we can read the shipping details area. Let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest to Thax at his normal destination. We'll never miss a few lost pieces. We'll go ahead and upload that. Journal updated, wait for results. See what happens as a result of informing Mr. Thax about the stolen goods. As we cross over here, it looks like we're gonna pull out our weapons, which probably means that we're gonna have a little bit of some Eclipse Mercs on our butts. We have an area here that you can go through. Where is everyone? I don't see anything. I don't see. We'll go ahead and salvage this for 3,000 credits. Well, I don't see anyone. I don't think there's a problem here at all. Oh, there they are. Go ahead and get in a cover. Pop out this combat drone. Now, it is it is kind of unfortunate that, uh, you know, our... We don't have anybody. This group, while the best, I think, for storyline stuff, uh, we don't really have anybody that can, well, you know, warp. Which is actually really unfortunate because warp is incredibly, incredibly useful on this fight. We're going to go ahead and take out this sisterhood initiate there. Kind of like a, uh, that's ever, that's ever, nice job, guys. All right. You guys did great. I was a little worried, but no, you guys did awesome. Well, let's continue on to the only door that we can use and get through, well, those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I won't be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> What 
was the name of the ship she left on. Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. You just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? Uh, hi, you're so hot. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. What just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car's in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Uh... Okay. What? What's code? This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space, righting wrongs, as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Hmm. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation. Now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse Mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, so I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, you're welcome. Quietly terrifying. Like, legitimately think about her in real... Like, imagine that person existing in real life and being like, yeah... This is fine. So it seems like the only thing we can do now is talk to Pitney Four and question him about why he lied to us. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent. Yeah, right. To... Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, 
forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Now, you'd actually didn't need to use that Renegade Interrupt, but... Because you'd lead to the same place. But it's the only morality points that you can get in this entire conversation is by doing that. And it's worth five Renegade points. So, hey, why don't you tell us about this chemical? Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. Sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Yeah, and so are we. We're a renegade, not you really. You should be able to get into the Merc base now. But hey, three five it's renegade points. We can way. actually come into here if we want into this into this uh, area here, and Samara will actually be hanging out, meditating. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. Wasea. Interesting. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. Well, she's not a cell. You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, man. She's terrifying. I can't wait to have her on my team. Anyways, that will do it for for that little... I just, it's so cool. So we're going to use this elevator and head up to where we got to go. And Talion, Talion Garris on an elevator takes us back. And we just have to deal with this tiny little mech, which we can go ahead and charge and then just melee out. But we're not done because uh, right after doing that, we're going to have to deal with... Uh, hey, should we take out should we take out some singularity? What do you think? Should we do this? Anyways, when we open this door, we're gonna have to deal with uh Toxic. So that was what did it say? Toxic uh anyways, toxicity level. You can see the lower right. Well you can't see it because my head's kind of in the way. Oh concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. Sorry. Go ahead and watch out for these. And then there's going to be more over here. Some Loki mechs, which we can take out pretty quickly. Charge those. Rank them. Oh, those ones just, like, exploded. And then we have to watch out, of course, for the Biotics uh, vanguards that are over on the other side. And hopefully be able to take them out. Let's send a drone over there. And let's concussive shot that one there. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and charge. Get across as quickly as possible and maybe just melee the crap out of this vanguard get that one out of the way and then we'll charge this one as well sending her flying apparently that missed somehow and into cover get out of the toxicity levels let's go ahead and concussive shot we need to get out of the toxicity levels because it's doing health damage let's go ahead and charge here getting rid of that initiate and toasting that one as well that was great! That was 
is so fun. We didn't have to, you know, these toxic canisters, though. We're going to have to be careful of those the entire time we're going through this level and maybe go fill up on the rest of these thermal clips if we can find any. Doesn't look like there's any more. That stinks. Anyways, we'll run through these clouds. You don't want them to fill up all of your toxicity, uh, your gauge there, because it will start doing damage to you. So depending on which one you're in, uh, these will actually impact your biotic abilities and make your biotic abilities stronger or last longer or anything. And squad mates can actually hang out in that toxic level and it won't do anything to them. So keep that in mind as we go. Anyways, uh, we have a weapons loadout here that we can go ahead and use because we just used the singularity thing. We're actually going to switch guns just so that we can refill our ammo on that. And then we'll pop back to the singularity projector. There is a trophy that we're going for, and right here we will find a Scimitar Assault Shotgun, which is a brand new shotgun that we can have. And it's funny because they actually give that to us and then immediately allow you to switch back if you're like, I don't want that. And we don't. We want our, our Geth one. It's just so good. It's a wonderful mid-range weapon. So if we come over here, we'll see that there's this door that we can use. somebody named Elnora on the other side of this door. Let's go ahead and see what that's about. Tended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Oh, okay. You Don't think so. Side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch. Damn it, Elnora. <sighs> but there's the characters that we have with us, they don't say anything when that happens. However, other characters do. You're in an enemy uniform and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I knew. See? I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. No. Screw that, bitch. And slaughter. <laughs> I just had to show Jack. You know. Sorry, you stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. Another grunt dialogue. I see. And finally, the only other person that I think has a good response to Elnora is Grunt. So I wanted to show it. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I knew. But we're not going to choose any of those options because we're, while we are kind of a vigilante, we're a specter, we can do what we want. We don't know enough about Elnora. Yes, we have heard that, Wait, well, stop. They have to once. kill to get their uh, their uniform, but I knew. I thought being we don't know. And be cool. where we got that information was a really Volus like. who lied to us. So we'll let her pull the gun. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. Why would you think that? They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What's that? What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. And where did she go? What ship did they use for the smuggling? 
Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? Oh, we I already asked that. Why are they? Away? Okay. They just sell red sand and illegal right. weapons. Why don't you get out of here, Elnora? They smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Interesting. Well, if you kill her, which we don't know, we don't know if she's if she really is the person that she says she is. We just don't have any information yet, and it just feels wrong to murder her. There's three of us and one of her, and if you don't shoot her, then she doesn't shoot you, and it just feels bad to murder her. So we're not going to, especially because we have Garrus and Tally, and they're impressionable. And also, I don't really know how samara would react the point is we're not going to do it and we find out something about an art at yakshi which was smuggled off world which is a demon of the night winds over here we can download this result which will give us biotic damage research which is awesome but yeah don't skip this room if you do you it's just bad news bears don't skip this room so we'll continue up i just i don't know i think letting elnora live is the way to go for a paragon ship at least our Paragon ship, even though we've done some pretty horrible things. So, as soon as we come in here, we're going to have to deal with some Sisterhood Initiates, a Loki mech, and apparently... There we go. We'll go ahead and... Whoa! Hey, now. Go ahead and... Whoop! There we go. Watch out for the toxicity. And get into cover here. Hello, friends. Watch out for this toxicity level. And we'll go run through so we're not in the thing anymore. We'll have to deal with more of these guys. Luckily for us, Tally's already dealing that. We're going to send a combat drone out. And we'll go ahead and, uh, and overload this guy. Here. Don't worry about. Combat drones can be pretty useful, especially when they explode. Let's actually see if it'll explode and how much damage it'll do. There we go. Not much. <laughs> Not much. But it will get things out of cover, which is always, always useful. Getting into cover here. We're going to wait. I think that Vanguard's dead. Yeah, Vanguard's dead. So we'll go ahead and hit this one. And then we'll charge. Whoa. Hey, now. I got stunned out of being able to charge. And she's gone. She fell out a window. I don't know who pushed her out that window, but it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Nothing over here that we can get. No thermal clips or anything, because we did use quite a bit of ammo there. Watch out for these toxic canisters. Again, they're everywhere. They're just kind of a nuisance at this point. Like, they're not even, they don't even do anything. And it's not like we're a biotic and can take advantage of it. I mean, we have biotic charge, but we're not a biotic. We don't use shockwave. We get 100 credits there. And we can hack this eclipse terminal for some moolah, baby. Look at that. Easy 3,000 credits. Probably the easiest hack that we've done so far. Oh, man, you'll love to see it. I swear I've been recording for days. And it's like everything's blurring together at this point, and I don't even know who I am anymore. I think I'm Corey Shepard. I don't even shit. They've seen us. Anyways, we'll come into this room. Immediately, we'll have to deal with a. Whoa! That was a good dodge. I have to deal with uh, more vanguards. So we're gonna go ahead and actually send out the drone that's going to do its job, and we'll concuss some shot here. You can see how much damage it actually did do to barriers, which is nice. Go ahead and knock that one down. Watch out for the heavy that we have over there. Get in a cover. Loki mech in the back. Watching out for this one here. We'll wait. It's actually at shield. So finally, our buddy can do something. We got one in the back there. We're going to see if we can hit that. And then send out a combat drone here. Watch out for these toxicity levels. Go ahead and just hit that. And then hopefully just get in a cover here. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and overload. Can't target them. And shark, what do you mean you can't? Oh. can't get a lock. oh, you hate when that happens, man. You absolutely hate to see it. We can't go over there and kill those guys. Can somebody just, can somebody just, thank you. Yeah, it won't actually let us over there, so you can't charge those mechs. You love when that happens, don't you? Ugh, the worst. We can access this for 6,000 credits and another medical station for 100 credits. Remember, we're not using... We're trying not to uh, use Unity at all anymore. It's just not worth it. We need the credits. 
It doesn't seem like much, but it adds up over the course of the game. Up here, more toxic canisters. Go ahead and explode that. Perfect. And then we're going to send this out. This vanguard's pretty much dead. We'll go ahead and charge her. Watch out for more that's shooting us over here. There's a gunship, apparently? That's probably not the best news that I've ever heard. So we wanted to watch out for that gunship. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually take out this vanguard. And potentially, we might be able to get some shots on this gunship from here. Yeah, well, we got one. All right, let's go ahead and switch out of that. Up here, we have some refined platinum. Let's go ahead and open that. And watch out for this gunship while we're over here. Watch out for the heavy. Go ahead and just overload. And then we'll charge it. Apparently, there was a Loki mech over there, too, that I just did not see. Now, keep in mind that that gunship was there. You can't actually destroy it. You don't even need to attack it there. But I wanted to attack it just so that we could get some a little pot shot damage in before we have to actually deal with it. Because, of course, you know, we can't just have so... Oh, that's a lot! That was a lot of projectiles all at once. Let's go ahead and actually use the drone here. And then we'll go ahead and overload this guy. And then charge this heavy. We want to deal with this heavy as soon as possible just to get it out of our way. And then we can kind of deal with this vanguard after it deals with that. And that actually should kill her. Perfect. She went overboard. There's another heavy on this side. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Can't reach the target. Oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but... Can't target them. What do you mean? What do you mean? There we go. Man, I hate when that happens. It won't let me actually do anything. We'll overload this. Finish that off. Go ahead and charge. And we won't be able to concussive shot because unfortunately we lost our team and we can't heal them up. So, because again, we don't want to use our... Oh, these guys are dead. I don't even know how she just died, but she did. And they're back up because we eliminated all of the enemies that were in this area. Whew. You know, that was a little sloppy on my end. Didn't really realize that my... You know what it is? When you play Vanguard, you don't really think about putting your friends into cover at all. So they just kind of wander around, you know? Um, that really is... That really is... When I play Infiltrator, which, by the way, if you've never played Mass Effect as an Infiltrator, it is so much fun. Definitely way different than a Vanguard. I think Vanguard's a little more fun to watch on... Uh, on, on a video, personally, but let me know if you guys have ever played an Infiltrator because I find them to be super, super fun. Over here, we can find a data file. Let's go ahead and read this. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. Oh, shit, man. Uh, close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. I, uh... If Elnora was the killer, we shouldn't have let her go. Detective and I would be interested in this. Yep, Garrus doing things by the book now. Oh, my bad, man. My bad. Anyways, we'll grab from the Metagel there another 100 credits. And now we have data that proves that, uh, well... We shouldn't have let Elnora do that. Our bad, dude. Our bad. My bad. See, I knew it. I knew I knew we should have killed her. What are you gonna do? I'm actually glad we didn't, because then we get the extra dialogue with Garrison Tally. And it looks like we gotta deal with some more Loki mechs. There's actually a few of them here. Watch out for our health here as well. And let's actually send a thing over here and an overload just to kind of stun them for a sec. Whoa. Go ahead and charge. Get our health back. It's actually just Loki mechs that we're dealing with here. Loki mechs can shred through your health, though, as you can see. There we go. Oh, we're not done yet. We have a bunch of fragile crates. It's not going to do us much good. And across the way, it looks like there's actually some power cells. Let's go ahead and open that. We're going to open that just because I, I care more about, honestly, I care more about the, the credits than I do about the heavy weapon 
ammo, even though we're going to have to deal with some stuff here. So, we're going to make sure all of our weapons have incendiary ammo, and then we're going to switch Garrus to his Change sniper weapons. rifle. We're going to put him over here. Affirmative. Perfect. And then we're going to get ready to run across the bridge, because as we do that, we are going to have to deal with uh, a little bit of a problem, and that, my friends, is a gunship that we just saw. Now, it is worth mentioning, if you have the cane, you can just pop this thing, and it will just it will just die, and it's awesome. But we're going to go ahead, and we're going to pop a drone here. I don't actually think the drone will do anything, but hey, important not to get hit by the rocket. You can't charge it, because you're a vanguard. It's not like you could just be like, oh, yeah, let me just do that. Uh, it's not how it works. Uh, concussive shots aren't going to do anything, because it's protected by armor. So you're kind of just SOL, trying to do whatever you can, when you can. And uh, when it backs up like this, it's actually going to get ready to uh, fly over us entirely. We also need to keep an eye out for Fenris mechs, which are going to start coming at us. Uh, but we can go ahead, we can hit it, and hopefully be able to hit it a couple more times before it actually... There we go. And we'll go ahead and start switching now to our Geth Plasma. That is actually pretty useful here. Fenris mechs are about to cross the bridge. We'll go ahead and use the drone there and uh, hopefully hit this one and then overload it so it stuns and then we'll charge it. One of the easier gunship battles that we have in the entire game, to be totally honest with you. We're going to switch to the pistol here. One less to worry about. Not that one. And hopefully call it a day. There we go. Gunship destroyed. See? That wasn't hard at all. Not even, like, totally fine. No big deal whatsoever. Thermal clips. I wish we could see a damage breakdown of fights. But anyways, over here we can grab a med kit for 100 credits. And uh, that's pretty much all for items. So let's go ahead and bypass this door here. There we go. Door bypassed. Coming through here. Seems that we have a shipping manifest that we can read. Shipping manifest it shows that Pitney Four sold 2,000 units of Minogen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. Yeah, let's go. We gotta keep moving. And we can grab this right here for an Eclipse terminal is uh, always worth getting for 6,000 credits, and that's everything that we can get in this room. I feel like something godly awaits us. If to Cal. Huh. I am a biotic god. I think things... And they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. Uh, okay. You need help. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. <laughs> <laughs> they may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me. Uh, where'd you come from? Are you part of Pitney Force Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. I think you should take a nap, man. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. 
Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. Good night. But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Oh map. Destroy the universe later. So much for godhood. So it is worth mentioning that there almost every character has something cool to say during this interaction, but it is uh, a little too long to get here, my friends. Let me show you. Let me just do it. I'll show you guys some of the dialogue that you can get uh, with with the biotic Voltus God there. Yes, I'm tired. Hold that. Destroy the universe later. Sleep well, and dream of bulbous women. This guy's cute and all, but he's just gonna get himself killed out there. I will tear her apart. Destroy the universe later. Ah, uh, can we keep him? He didn't say anything about you going missing. Didn't want to get stuck here. Pitney picks money over friends. Unsurprising. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. Fifteen creds says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the merc explodes him. Survive after me! That was mean, but damn funny. So the end of this episode actually got corrupted, the footage, so I had to re-record the end. And uh, while coming through, I thought I would switch to the cane for the gunship fight, just so I could show you the difference. Yeah, it's a little different when you can just do that. There we go. Gunship fight over. All right. I just had to show you that. And there you have it. Uh, that is all of the ones that I think are really cool with Niftu, uh, including the one with Jack and Morden, where we actually allowed him to go in and you got to see what happened with the with the Eclipse leader that we're about to fight ourselves. Uh, and yes, the footage got corrupted, unfortunately. So we're we had to we had to come back and it, it, it is what it is. Uh, but right outside here, this is where we need to go to fight Wasea. Uh, but we can actually find that there is a weapons locker here that we can go ahead and switch. So instead of the cane, I'm actually going to use the arc projector because it's going to keep... You'll, you'll see. You can use the cane, but it's not going to one-shot. At least I don't think it's going to one-shot. So I recommend using the arc projector instead for this next fight. Because it's going to do just... just You'll see. It's amazing. So let's go ahead. Let's open this door. Let's see what wasaya has got for us. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. She's mad, so we're going to immediately just start hitting her with an arc projector. She's got... Captain Wasea here has barriers, she has armor, she has friends that are coming on the right hand, the left hand side there. And we're just gonna keep her pretty much stunlocked this entire time. And 
and she can't do anything against us, baby. That's some cheese, but we're not done because more are going to come in. We're going to go ahead. We're actually going to send in her drone. We're going to charge in here and just go ahead and melee these ourselves and finish the fight. I mean, do you see, do you see, do you see what I mean? The arc projector is so, so strong. Uh, and you could use the M920, but you're not going to have it then for, for anything else. What's the point of that? That ship must be around here. That fight is so cheesy like that, man. It's so cheesy, and I love it. It's so great. So anyways, uh, we want to explore around this room. There's nothing that we can really get except for the data pad that we have, but I thought I would just point that out. Once you get that data pad, that's it. You're done with this room, and there's there's nothing else you can do. So we see that the data pad's over here on the desk. If we look around, we'll see that there's nothing else that we can grab. No, no more... No enemies, no credits, no anything, which is too bad. But guys, we are at the end. We are about to recruit the Justicar Samara onto our team, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and grab Wasea's data pad. There's a Justicar here, probably looking for the one we sent off on the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope the Justicar doesn't mess up my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name or look around first? And we are going to look around a little bit. Time. Let's look around some more. Because there is actually, before we leave, there actually is a console around here that should have some credits in it. I believe about 3,000. Um, the other thing that I want to mention be before we, you know, get started here is uh, Wasea, if you kill her very quickly... Oh, it's right next to it. Um, if you kill her, I was like, where is it? If you kill her really quickly, she's not going to do all of the stuff that she does, the mechanics that she does. But if you take your time killing her, she'll actually move all of these heavy containers and she'll actually go to a new area of the fight where there's even more. Uh, but we were able to eliminate her so fast that we never even got to see this. But obviously this whole area that's behind her, she'll move these two containers or these three containers and she'll go back here and fight. We don't have to worry about that because we defeated her so quickly. And there's nothing back there. There's no credits. There's no anything. So it's not a big deal if you don't get to do that. So let's hack this terminal for 3,000 credits. Easy. Easiest hack of my life. 3,000 credits are now ours. And that means that we're done. We have Wasea's. Uh, and the way that you leave after saying, no, I'm not ready to leave, is you go and you use this area over here, which is going to take us back to the spaceport. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. It is worth mentioning that you can use the M920 cane to eliminate Wasea completely, um, but I found it to be a little hard to do that because if you get shot at all, you stop charging the M920 cane and she immediately starts shooting you. So it's kind of hard to pull it off. Um, I think the arc projector is just a safer way of doing it. But if, if you want to just one shot her, hey, the M920 cane will work. But we got some evidence during that. Admit it, but the eclipse we got some evidence is. there, and we have a decision to make. So first of all, Nif2 Cal is here, so we can go ahead and talk to I the biotic god. Me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. You're welcome, Nif2. It was cute, dude. It was cute. So we have evidence against Pit E4, and we could decide right now... Do we want to give him the evidence, or do we want to give the evidence to the police? Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? Yeah, what's it worth to you? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to hold on to it. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Not entirely true. He'll give us 9,000 credits and 5 Renegade points. She'll give us some credits, 4,200 credits, and some Paragon points. And you know what we want? The Paragon points, baby! If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Oh, and I do. I've got the name of the ship. 
Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions, but I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. I love her. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. That's fair. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? Uh, not yet. I have business with Anaya. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I found the murderer. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. You came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Uh, I also uh, have some information about Pitney 4. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Thank you. And with that, let's return to the Normandy. And we leveled up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're now level 18. Two more squad points are ours. We recruited Samara for the team. No big deal. Just adjust a car on our team. Uh, that's fine. We got the Scimitar Assault Shotgun, which is pretty decent. We got Biotic Damage that we're going to go ahead and upgrade as soon as possible. We got... 55,200 credits and 2,000 platinum, which is everything that we can get from this mission. So let's continue. I think people are going to be pretty excited to see that, you know, there's a terrifying Justicar on board. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We studied your profile extensively. Mm -hmm. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events.
Okay, Jacob. A little weird. Well, that means that we're back on the Normandy. We have recruited, my friends, every single person that we can recruit in this game right now, as of right now. Uh, we do have another squad mate that will join us, but not yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade this biotic damage. Uh, that's awesome. And biotic cooldown. 5,000 element zero for that 20% faster biotic cooldowns. There's, there's no world where you don't want that, baby. Uh, and that is all that we can do right now here. Remember, we don't want to talk to Morden. We don't want to talk to Jacob. We don't want to talk to anybody uh, because they're all going to offer us loyalty missions. And I just don't want to do those loyalty missions yet, my friends. But if we talk to Kelly, we will have a, uh, a pretty important conversation here. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. You're prettier. I didn't recruit her for her looks. But Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Woo! Get it, Shepard! Goodness, I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. We got five renegade points for that. What? I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. Yes. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? My friends, and that is why you talked to Kelly, because now we no longer have to worry about our fish. Is there anything I should know? You have unread message. Operative tip. Garrus Morden would like to Garrus see. Garrus has like one. Grunt. Grunt. Everyone else? except for Samara right now. That and they actually. Commander, you've received a new Let's go ahead and see what new time. messages we have. We have an important request from Mr. Ganaka Jal. Having consulted with his colleagues at the Citadel, he has the privilege to request for assistance to transfer a large quantity of protein technology uncovered at Ilos. Knowing of our interest in Prothean technology, this person would be happy to deliver most of it into our hands. But if we transfer 20,000 credits required to him, I think we'll get it. Guys, we need to, we need to hurry up and transfer those 20,000 credits. Anyways, that was just spam, but the important message that we get here is from Jute. Liara Tassoni gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. You helped me get out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse mercs trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Nice. My friends. Guys, we are... This is awesome. We're cruising. We're cruising. Okay, we're not cruising. Um... A lot of uh, I've had a lot of technical difficulties. It's fine though. Let's go ahead and see what Joker has to say about having a very uh, potentially cold and angry Justicar on board. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers. You get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> yeah, I see good for now. <laughs> see you, Commander. That's good. Yeah. No. Yeah. Pretty much at the same store. Anyways, that is what we can do here. But of course, we do have Thane and Samara that we need to go talk to. Guys, the next episode is going to be a real big one when it comes to loyalty missions. Because, if you've noticed, the thing that I've been talking about happening hasn't happened yet. So, let's go ahead and let's go down and talk to uh, Thane and Samara. Over in Life Support, we can talk to Thane right away. And he's going to have some pretty cool, pretty fantastic dialogue for us. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hammer trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. 
I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worshipped Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Uh, no. Why did your parents but now agree I to want this? to. The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Hey, what do you mean extinction? Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Jeez Louise, man. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. After like the squeals of a child fighting the water, they fly over the back of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies, Drell, slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. My friend, Thane, it is impossible for you to waste you my need time. something later. You uh, mind if I not ask at all. You? I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Great. Let's go check in with Samara then. Who is on the opposite end of where Kasumi is? She is in the starboard observation. Oh, Samara, you're so cool. Before we talk to her, this is our first time in this room. Let's talk to Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of ablative armor are extended to cover the windows. Ah, uh, they know us so well. Samara. Look at she's just got like a biotic mass field. Oh my god. Before, let's just do it. Shepard, how are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. You're so cool. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Okay. 
How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Yes! What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. That's what I want to hear. Manda. Wait, we're not done. We need to talk about upgrades. Shepard. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Yes, please. Show me what it would take. And with that, we now can get extended fuel cells for 3,000 element zero. But we can also talk to her and see her opinion on Miranda and Jacob. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. Interesting. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. You're darn too. And that's go. all that of we're course. going to be able to get from Samara. So with that, we've talked to Samara and we've talked to uh, Thane, which means maybe we can check with Kasumi. She has anything to I say. I was just thinking about you. Oh, I was just thinking about you too. So you and Kelly, huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like you two had a nice date. Such I thought gossips. she was coming on to me at first, but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Well, she's probably coming on to you. Edie has a all right, let's go ahead and check up here. I just got a message from my wife. I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. <laughs> That's so cute. When this mission is over, I'm going to give her the longest hug she's ever had. <laughs> I'm so glad that his family's okay. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over here. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. All right, my friends, that is going to wind us down for today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the next episode, we are actually going to talk to Morden and Grunt, get their loyalty missions, and we, my friends, are going to the Krogan homeworld of Tuchanka, where we will be able to hopefully do both of those loyalty missions before we're forced into the next mission, which is awesome uh, and perfectly how I planned it out. And I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and a bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel on here on YouTube and of course on patreon.com slash missile online. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Wasea and the Eclipse Mercenaries. Goodbye, everyone.